Now the second half is underway and two changes have been made. Dave O'D has replaced Mick Gray and Matty Hines has replaced Jer Mullen. And now we have a sending off. This should balance out matters. Ronan Welch has been sent off. You were sent off for you? I was, yeah. What, what exactly were you sent off for? Oh, I'm um, giving out to the ref. What did you, you say? Language? What did you say to the ref? Oh, I said, ah, uh, <laughs> uh, fuck's sake, man. He seems to be coming over towards you now. Maybe he'd let you on again. We might have uh, a word with him. Two minutes, ref. I think if you slip back on again, you wouldn't be noticed, actually. We won't pick it up in camera. Go again. Seems to be a rather harsh decision there. Ronan Welsh dismissed for referring to the ref's poor eyesight. Considering the ref's glasses, I thought he was well within his rights. The question is... Now we have Matty Hines who was put in to try and put some sort of respectability in this team. He's in an around ball to James Biggins. James Biggins with the kindness that he breaks down to Matty Murphy. Matty decides to go right, goes left, goes right and buries it into the back of the net. And now he's off on his lap of honour. The Shulgin Corp under 16 could be in trouble here, down to 14 men. And that goal right after half time by Matty Murphy. Now, how the ref came to that decision. <laughs> now, Eugene O'Hare decides if Matthew Murphy can do it, he can do it. He's fouled. <laughs> Gives the usual hand up, and then the usual Eugene O'Hare finish wide. Now, Derek Welch with the kick out. Matt Murphy waiting to pounce once again. Oh, plucked by Eugene O'Hare. Matty has gone into the corner again. They don't spot him. And that was Tommy Carey. Ever the overlapping halfback. Now we have... The referee is looking at his watch. I don't know why he's looking at his watch, because it's just right after half time. Yes, Derek Welch still cringing from embarrassment after that Matt Murphy effort. <laughs> Put him rooting in the back of the net. <laughs> now, Connor Marchmer. Mike Garvey blocks it down. Let's get back to James Biggins. Oh, a nice one handed layoff to Eugene O'Hare. And again. If he aimed for the church, he'd miss the dices. Derek Welch with a kick out. Coming towards the sideline, Cormac Duffy issuing instructions from the sideline. Now Daniel Payne decides enough is enough. Adrian Gavin. A long delivery of a kick out. It was intended to reach Matt Murphy, but it only got to the 21. Now Daniel Payne has it. Conor Martin redresses the balance somewhat with a point. Now John Murphy is about to take the kick out. It's out of the hand. One, two, three down. Tommy Gerrity eventually gets up. Adrian Gavin. <laughs> now Eugene O'Hare takes the line ball, but no, Declan Ronson insists he takes it, but he gives it back to Eugene. They're obviously playing keep ball at this stage. Eugene is fouled. He sends it into James Biggins, who decided to wait for it to come down, but it didn't come down. But it's broken out to Daniel Payne. Come on, Biggins! Oh. 
Oh, Mick Gray clears that ball, which is <laughs> strange because he was replaced at half time and I didn't see him going back on. <laughs> no, this is a new play. No. Free for travelling. Well, he wasn't travelling because he was being handcuffed. Matt Murphy decides to go it alone. Penalty. This man gets up out of bed at night to take penalties. The moment the referee is having a word with the keeper. Oh, his. He wants to have a word with the keeper. Matt, he wants to take the penalty. The ref still wants to have a word with the keeper. <laughs> now, the ref seems to have lost control of this game completely. Taking the goalkeeper's name and address, obviously going to send him a Christmas card. The penalty has been taken. And as I said, Matty Murphy would get up out of bed at night to take a penalty. Obviously, he shouldn't make a habit of it because he's in that one wide. <laughs> now Derek Welch takes the kick out again. It's broken down. Now John Murphy, first of all he pushed the young a blatant push. Now he's coming out with the ball. He's lost it. He was fouled by David Mullen. That was the ref's interpretation of it. I thought John Murphy fouled David Mullen. Now we have seen something like a collapsed scrum up here. Chris Ficari comes out, wins possession, doesn't bother to pick it up. Get on with the game, he says, drives it up the field for James Biggins. Sends it in, hoping that the hop will deceive the keeper. Derek Welsh moves from his goal. They're free in against him. For showing imagination. A further 20 yards for descent. And still Cormadon isn't happy, he's issuing instructions from the line. He wants Matty Murphy to stay out in the corner. But Matty reminds him the goals are in the middle of the field. He was further out the last time when he went on a bit of a blind solo run. Taken by Bernard Cawley. Brendan Hughes. Brendan long lob taken by John Dowd. John Hughes. I've worked Matty Hines. Matty to Matty Murphy. No, Matty is going to go it alone. But no, he decides he'll test out James Biggins. A Tom Payne's shot. He was just about to go on the lap of honour, but discovered it didn't go over the bear. Now we have a free in. Now we have another situation developing here and the referee is coming over towards Eamon Ryan. And Eamon Ryan has been asked to leave the field. <laughs> By that very move now, referee Brian O'Reilly has probably done more for football for the next 10 years than all the coaching schools. Eamon, you seem to have been... Caught in the wrong, caught in the wrong. Huh? What are we sitting now for Eamon? Or... Pulling. Pulling. <laughs> 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 Sounds like a guard was out checking traffic or something, <laughs> way, you know? <laughs> now Conor Marmer decides to do a bit of fancy footwork, Michael Flatley stuff. An open goal and he sends it over the bear. Eamon Ryan in front of us here, still reeling from his sending off. Now Parry Cawley. He's a down the field. Tom Payne decides to go for it, can he get to us? Now Daniel Payne has it. Over to Adrian Gavin. And closely marked by Tommy Carey. Now Eamon Ryan is returning to the fold again. Now Brendan Hughes has been fouled. That's not his sending off. As a matter of fact, he gets a free against him. He was fouled and there's a free given against him. Tommy Garrity fouled a late tackle. Up to Matty Murphy. Matty who has fouled the back of the net twice. And now he rifles it over the bar. I thought I heard somebody chanting easy. <laughs> 
And there we had a goal from Michael Gray, who actually should be off the field. He was replaced at half time. He has now decided to go off again. Matty Murphy enticing the infant to pass the ball to him. And he does. Now to Eugene O'Hare. Eugene is going for a push over scrum. It's going to be a penalty try, I think. And Connor Mortimer again out. Short ball to Daniel Payne. To Adrian Gavin, Owen Rollinson coming out. Across the field, Ronan Walsh, who was in off a few minutes ago, now he's back on. He's fouled and he's free against him. At least the ref is consistent. He's terrible bad, but he's consistent. And again, he gives another free. Quickly taken by Declan Johnson to Tom Payne, to Eugene O'Hare, one hand to the other. The true ball, James Wiggins, nearly had to go down to the other goal to turn. Well, Tommy Garrity has it. A little bit of volleyball, but Michael Gray is fouled. Again, a penalty. Again, as I said, Matt Murphy. He's around here, he'll take the penalty, nobody else. He knows the game is safe in the bag, he goes for a pint. Matty Murphy just picks it off the ground, picks himself off the ground, puts the way through. First of all, it looked wide, but the umpire gave it to him. Full back, Declan Flaherty. Send it to Brendan Hughes. Brendan Hughes was fouled and into the free against him. Now, Jerry Mullen. Again, the ref is coming. He's like a fireman rushing to a fire. Adam Murphy takes the shot. Uh, sets up another attack for the under 16s. Oh, well read there by Christy Corley. Now, oh, Matty Hines. <laughs> James Biggins, who puts it into the back of the nest. This is turning into a cakewalk. Now, and it's all over. Scenes of great jubilation all around. Carl McDuffie moving out to congratulate his troops. <laughs> 